I am the woodpecker today. I'm making a crane so I can lift my structure. Right from the top, I figured out I will need more than elbow grease to lift beams of that size. So I've designed this sort of crane made from 6x6s with two ATV winches on top to lift all the heavy stuff. The base will be bolted to a bunch of 2x8s. The first thing to do is to put all 6x6s on saw horses so I can make all the joinery. Okay, this is the only piece I was able to lift by myself. I start with this piece. The first thing to do is the top part of the crank. And to do so, I'll use the whole 8 feet of this 6x6. I start by tracing the shape of the tendon with a pattern that I made. Then I cut both sides. The small sliver in the center is cut with the handsaw. I repeat the same thing on the other side. Then, to mark the tenon, I trace a 45 degree line starting from the small side. I do this on both sides and cut the tenon. For the first cut, I'm really careful to cut to the line, but for the others, I'm not. With all those cuts, the pieces break really easily. The last thing to do is to finish the cheek of the tenon. First, I clean up the bulk with a chisel and make it smooth with a hand plane. The corner is done with a rabbit plane. When both braces tenons are done, I can make the tenon for the top beam. This is done the same way as the braces tenon. Then it's time to mark the placement of the top post, top mortise. After marking the center and both mortise extremity, I drill a series of holes between the marks. Then I flip the beam over, mark the other side and drill right through the 6x6. The last thing to do to finish this mortise is to clean all the sides. The tenon of the top post is too wide, so I cut it to size. Then I can try the fit. Hmm, it's not okay. So I plane a little bit the cheek of the tenon again. Then with a little persuasion, with an 18 pound sledgehammer, everything fits perfectly. I'm happy with the fit, it's not that bad. Next, using the brace itself, I trace the shape of the mortises on both pieces. Then I must remove the top beam from the post.
Now I can finish marking the mortises and make them. Then I can reassemble it all again to see if everything fits. Next, it's time to cut all the 45 degrees of the four legs. If the surface is not perfect after cutting the sliver, I just plane it flush. Then it's time to assemble the 2x8 base. After checking and adjusting the squareness of the base, I finish screwing it together. Then I pre-drill pilot holes for the top middle channel which sit on top of the crank. I made the support earlier this spring, just before removing the welding machine breaker. After cutting four plates, I weld them to the square channel. Now that the support is welded, I can drill the pilot holes at the right place. Before moving everything to the new shop floor, René cleans around the floor drains and installs the grates to make sure we don't fall into those holes and hurt ourselves. Then I screw pieces of 2x4s on two of my sources to keep the central post higher. Then with René's help, we put it on top. Then it's time for the base. With the central post higher, the center of the base is at the right location to screw it in place. Then it's time to screw the four legs. Mm. After it's assembled, its hugeness is obvious. Next, the top is reassembled again. When everything is in place, I drill for the pegs and install them. Then, using the pickup, we lift it on its feet. Then I screw the base's reinforcement. The top ones are mere 2x4s. Then I install three scaffolding sections and screw the top metal channel. Then inside the square channel, I put a 2.5 inch heavy duty pipe. And install 2 inches. 
the one which will lift the beams is the bigger one. It's a 3,000 pound winch. You can see it now lifting six of my sources, weighing about 50 pounds each. I figure it will be strong enough. With the second winch, I can move the post forward if I need to. This is the crane I built to help me lift the heavy beams to their final location. I hope I won't have any problem with it. See you next time when I'm starting working on the wooden structure on the woodpecker. <laughs>